Hey, welcome to another one of my online tutorials, this one being how to do some basic video editing in iMovie. We have a lot to cover, so let's get right to it. What you want to do is first open up iMovie. So you click the little iMovie icon or you go into your um, spotlight and search iMovie. And you click it on. So since mine's already open, I'm just going to switch to it. And here we go. Now the first thing I want to cover before we continue are the, the versions. Depending on what version you have, you might have a different interface from mine. So let's just check that really quickly. So you go to iMovie and Preferences. Oops, not Preferences. Perhaps About iMovie. And as you can see, I am using iMovie 11, which is the newest iMovie they came out with. You're probably running iMovie 2009, so if you are, just take notice that your interface might be just a little bit different, just a little bit, not that much different from mine. Just little things here and there that are different with some added features in 11 that you may not have. But don't worry, everything is still the same. Basically, it's still the same effects, still the same process, so don't worry about any of that. So one of the main things you'll notice in iMovie 11 is the interface. Um, you can see this full screen here, usually it would be regular sized if it was 2009. And I'm also running online, so I also have full screen apps for those who are wondering. So I'm going to switch back to full screen view. And basically I'm going to explain to you just the interface here before we continue. So here is your preview screen. This is where you see everything in your clip, your video, your text, and yeah. And over here is your project library where you get to choose some projects you've done in the past. Um, over here is your event library where you get to choose from the events where your videos are. Events are basically each day or the categories that iMovie sorts your videos into depending on the day you recorded it. And over here are your multi multimedia tabs. This being music, photos, text, transitions, and backgrounds. And these are some editing tools that we'll get to pretty soon. And this is just your sound meter to show how loud you are. And this is your record button to record from your webcam. And here is a swap, which we'll get to later. So basically what you want to do is create a new project by clicking the New Project Add button or going up to File, New Project, either way. Okay, so this is one of the differences you're going to have. In iMovie 2009, you won't have these movie trailers theme, which is actually a really good theme you should get, um, which is a good reason to upgrade to 11. And also, you wouldn't have this newscast or sports themes, but you will have all these themes in iMovie 2009, which I, I'm, I'm guessing most of you are running that. So let's choose the bulletin board. That's a theme we, I know we all have. And just name this tutorial project. Now, aspect ratio is the size and dimensions of the movie. Usually it's gonna be 16-9, just because everything now is 16-9. Nobody really uses the 4-3 aspect ratio anymore, just because every TV now is widescreen. So depending, most people are just gonna go with widescreen. I suggest you go with widescreen. And your frame rate is basically how many frames every second your movie is gonna show. Now you wanna choose 24 FPS or 30, I suggest 24, just because that's the easiest to work with, and the easiest to render in the end. Um, so you don't want to click automatically add trans transitions and titles, because that's just being lazy, and only make your video look monotone and boring and the same throughout the whole thing. So do not choose that, unless you want to be a lazy person, then choose that. Then just go ahead and click create. Click create. And once you've created your project, you're going to have a blank screen here. Now, as you can see here, everything is blank. And first thing we want to do is just set up, set up our workspace. So you can see that I have a relatively small um, window here and a rel relatively large preview screen and a relatively large um, event screen. 
So in order, in order to change change that, you just want to click right here in this gray area, and you basically just drag the dimensions over. So say I want more workspace here and less events, I can just drag that down, or vice versa, just drag this up and have less. Basically, you want to have it somewhere in the middle, but you do want to get a good preview screen here. I'm not too sure you can change this. Uh, yeah, you can't really change that. It's just the way it is in full screen mode. Yeah. But take notice, it just it does look different when it's not in full screen mode. Notice that. You, you can see the difference here. So, you know, just pull it to wherever seems better for you. All right, so as I explained before, this is your workspace, this is your preview window, and this is your event window. Now, this is where your storyline is. This is where you'll drag your videos into here to make a storyline. Depending on how you want to work, you can have your storyline up here or down here. To switch these two, you just click this but button over here, which does the switcheroo. This switches everything over to have your storyline down here and your events up here. You can choose whichever you want. Personally, I like my storyline to be up there and my events down here because it kind of seems like a drawer over here. Like you're just picking up your your footage out of a drawer and throwing it onto your desk over here rather than the other way around. But whichever way works for you is still the same. Now, let's say, let's say you want to start a video project. All, these, all this footage I have here is just random footage I have just imported into this thing here. Just random footage I used for this. So if the first thing you want to do is import some videos. So you go up to File, Import. Now you can import from a camera that you have plugged into your computer, or you can import from your computer alone. So you click Import Movies, and basically it'll take you to a place where you have movies. You can go to your desktop or wherever you have your movies located. I have mine for this tutorial in a folder called Vids on my desktop. And basically I have all my videos here. Um, and you can press spacebar to preview each one of your videos before you import them. So, so you get a general view of what your videos look like. And over here is nothing to look at. When it says save to Macintosh HD, it's basically copying your video and saving the cache. Now, what we mean by the cache is the leftover images sort of pictures that iMovie uses just to keep your projects you know running just that's just a thing to keep in mind that iMovie does take up space on your computer so just bear that in mind and you can choose to add to ex existing event or you can create a new event I already imported my videos and I created a new event called tutorial videos and so it's already here so you can create new event and name it whatever you want to name it now you do want to click optimize video because iMovie has a tendency to make the quality of your video a lot less than it was before. So you want to optimize your video and choose large. If you choose full original size, you can see here that it warns you selecting full on this computer may result in degraded video playback, which is not good. So let's choose large and there you go. And it doesn't really matter which one of these you choose. Just choose copy. That's the one I choose all the time and you click import and you click import and you wait a while for it to import depending on how many videos you've taken and yeah that'll be all so now that we're here the first thing to do is to start with your footage now as I was saying before these videos aren't gonna make too much sense just because I have random footage I'm just gonna throw th throw some random things up there so let's say oh yeah and another thing to keep in mind is that this is this red line you see here is your preview bar. Just move this along to preview what's in your video. And go backwards and forwards and scroll up and down just to see what each of your each of your videos look like. Just to get a sense of it. And when you put your mouse over each video strip, these are called video strips. You can see how long it is. The duration of this is 30 seconds. 21 seconds, 27, you know, 3 minutes, 42 seconds. Just goes on and on and on. And yeah. And this is your scale. 
this shows how this gives your videos more detail and time so the more you drag it the shorter the videos get that means it's 30 seconds but it's all compressed into this small thumbnail when you drag it all the way over here that thumbnail becomes exp expanded just shows more thumbnails throughout your video doesn't actually affect your video it just shows you more of your video to choose from so you can choose your videos more carefully than you would be if you were at like 30 seconds so basically you just want to keep it in five seconds or ten just to be the most efficient but then you can always go between the two okay so let's say I want to start out with um, say Hmm, it's hard to choose. Let's say this one. Say we started with this video. So you can choose to select the whole video or you can choose to select a portion. Now this yellow thing, this yellow highlight, shows how much of the clip you're taking. And also shows in real time over there in the white um numbers how much of the how much of the clip you're taking. So here's 1.3 seconds of the clip at the end of the clip. This is the beginning, this is the end. So if I want to select the whole clip, I just highlight the whole clip with this. If I want to select a portion of the clip, I select a portion of it. If you say I want the whole clip, I'm going to select all of it. And all you, all you do is put your mouse over the clip. You see this white hand. You left click and drag your video up here. And you can see this plus sign and this green bar over here. And all you do is just drag your video in there. And as you can see, it says mismatched frame rates. We talked about this before. Just basically just change it to the frame rate of your project. And now you can see that I have my video up there on the right. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, um, yeah, so once it's here, you can preview your video by pressing spacebar. Now this is a high speed video. And that's the duration of my video. Okay, so I've got that in. Now let's import some other videos. Uh, you can just browse here. See this uh, Statue of Liberty looks pretty good. So I don't want this whole clip. So what I'm going to do is select a portion of it. Started from here I want. So I, um, I, left, I left click from here and I drag all the way to say here. Then I just simply drag it over. Now what we're doing is dragging and dropping. And over here is the same, the scale here is the same as this scale. It just lets you see more, more um, thumbnails of your video. So the higher you go, the less you see. And the lower you go, the more you see. You just usually put it at 5 or 10 seconds, but usually 5 seconds. And let's see what it looks like so far. Okay, so um, you just keep doing this process of adding video clips until you feel like you've got your storyline down. So I'm just going to add some random clips now. Uh, say, add that. Um, add that. Um, add some of the shopping cart. Same thing, just drag and drop. Um, this moonrise. Same thing. Select a portion, drag and drop. This airplane. Drag and drop. Again, these are just random videos. Usually, you have some kind of vacation you went on or some. Uh, I don't know, some sports event. These are just random videos I'm using for this. Um, so basically, just keep uh, dragging and dropping. Alright, cool. 